Hello and welcome to this little walkthrough of how you can use the support system and how it's integrated between the lifecycle services and the Dynamics 365 operation and on the team services online. My name is Jens Saiga Christensen. I'm the Edge Programmer for Western Computer. What I'd like to show you today is how it's possible for you to create an issue already inside of your Dynamics 365 ERP system and submit it directly in the system and have it submitted to your first level support, whether that's being your own support team or if it's a partner support team, and how that can be treated from there and even show you how it can be submitted onto Microsoft should that be necessary. The first thing I would like to show you here is within the Lifecycle Services project that is tied up to Dynamic 365 operations, we have the tile called Support. When we click the support here, what you see is the list of the current issues that you have within your implementation project or within this exact lifecycle services project. You have your open work items that shows you what kinds of items that have been created for you. And then we have the support issues that are created once you go through the support process in creation process in your Dynamics 365 for operation. And then we have the service request down here where you can do some service requests in terms of doing a snapshot of the database or restore points and whatnot. Some of the prerequisites for this to work is that you need to have set up this help interaction or support interaction between your Lifecycle Services project and your Dynamics 365 for operations or your ERP system here. So one of the first thing you need to do is or make sure it's done is on the needs of system administration and in the system parameters. Under the help functionality, there are some areas where you can set up the different things. There you got the task guide, how you can set it up to the Lifecycle Services project. You have your business process, model libraries, your help source, and then you have your support contact down here below where you can select the Lifecycle Services project where you would like these issues to be created. One of the reasons that it's different here is that you could have a different support project where you only have a subset of support members or project members on the Lifecycle Services project that will be notified once those issues are created. So what I'll show you here is that you can create it from within the system here. Underneath the question mark in your Dynamic 365 operation, you see that there are some different functionalities here. We have resources down here that gives you direct links to different areas, and you have your Wikipedia that looks into this source here, and it looks at the current page you're on and does an active search for you to find articles or paragraphs or sections that actually relate to this area, to even do the area to the process that has a relation to where you're currently located in the system. You also have the task guides. If there is none task guide, you can also request a standard task guide here. What we would like to into here today is the how you can contact the support team and this is the functionality that we have down here. So when I click here, you get this window up here where you're possible for creating an issue. So I'm going to say, okay, purchase order will not post. Please fix. And you can put in other information on when this occurred and how severe it is. Another cool feature is that you can actually try to recreate your issue by using your task recording and then you can save it and upload it to this issue and that will automatically flow through to your issue in Lifecycle Services and onto your Visual Studio, your team services if you have that set up as well. You can also attach files and, and pictures and whatnot. In order for it to actually be created, what you need to do is you need to actually click yes here and then that allows for you to submit it. So when I click submit here, what you'll see in just a second, you'll be notified that now we've submitted your issue and you, this is the ticket number and the system administrator will contact you with the next steps. So what I'll do here now, so now you're done here and as a user and now you just have to get some feedback on it. Now I want to show you how that actually represents into uh, Lifecycle Services and onwards to the Visual Studio Team Foundation, Team Services Foundation. So I'm going to refresh the screen and we should get a new issue here showing the issue ID of number five. One second here. 
what you'll see here is that now we have this issue that I just created and sent off here. So you can also create an issue directly here, but this will actually save some metadata and you can also, as I said before, with the task recording, everything will allow you to do it directly from where you have those issues. So as soon as this is created, if I click this one here, it's actually going to build in and it's going to take me into the Team Services site for that project that's been signed up for this one here. And you can see there are some discussion. This is, gives you some information of where it's been generated, what browser was used, and a lot of information. And also, if there was any task recording, same thing, this would have been stored on this one as well. And then once this has been created, the administrator in for this team services project can go in and go ahead and assign it to whoever needs to see it or whatnot. So I'm just going to go ahead and assign it to myself. And now this has now been assigned, and I can now look into what's been assigned to me, and I can start working with these different areas. So what I've done right now is I've actually had a user create an issue directly into Dynamics 365 operations, and that has created an issue into the support engine here. So this is where we can continue on investigating. If we come to a, some kind of a, a conclusion that it needs to be submitted to Microsoft, you already have it here. You can go ahead and click the Submit to Microsoft. Go through that process here. Let me click that one, and you can select what type you have. And I'm going to go non-premier here. And then what you will do now is that you will actually go through the actual issue creation process where you can go ahead and search for it and if you don't find it in your issue search you can create the incident and then you can go through the exact same process that has been done earlier in earlier time with LTS so you can put on information and it will create you that issue to Microsoft so very cool features in the new Dynamics 365 for operations that were full integrated between your user and your first level support and that can be evaluated from there, and you can send it off to here. So thank you for listening, and have a great day.